أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر رب الشحل صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم أما بعد Once again everyone السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So today inshallah some things about Surah Al-Kawthar the shortest surah in the Quran to be able to understand its placement and its in its logic uh, There are a couple of things first to understand the, the background of this surah which takes a little bit of time to understand It surrounds one of the most sad the saddest incidents in the Prophet's life عليه الصلاة والسلام when his young baby boy uh, passed away. And when this baby boy passed away, that's painful enough, but it was actually even more painful that his next door neighbor, which was his actual uncle, uh, you know, heard of the news. He could hear the crying on the other side of the, the, the porch, by separated by just a wall, and started kind of prancing around, declaring out loud, Batara Muhammad, Batara Muhammad, Muhammad's name shall not continue. Muhammad's son, because sons pass on, you pass on the name, his name shall not continue. He's celebrating the death of a baby. Now it's hard enough to deal with the death of a child, impossible even. And on top of that, your own uncle is celebrating that fact. I mean, this is the kind of thing where even noble enemies will drop their, their, you know, their, their sword and say, look, we're enemies, but today I heard your child passed away. We'll take a day break Go, you know, and, and give a, you know, a consolation you know, and condolences. But this is your own uncle and he's celebrating the, the pain on top of the pain that the Prophet ﷺ felt. So Allah kind of changed his mood completely and that's one of the powers of the Qur'an. Like, Allah's word will make you see the same reality completely differently. And without Allah's word, you'll see it one way, and with it, you'll see it some other way. So instead of focusing on what the Prophet ﷺ has lost, what, what does Allah do? Inna a'tainaka al kawthar. We've given you the greatest, the most abundant good. The most abundant good. Of course, it's described as a river in paradise, but the generality of the language also suggests I've given you so much good. The word kathir means a lot, but al kawthar is mubalagha. It's good beyond imagination. That's what we've given you. And I've given you much and much and much. So instead of thinking about the loss, which is unbearable to think about, Allah focuses the Prophet's attention on what he's been given. And that's actually a universal lesson that we're learning in this incredible surah. Another quick thing about it is Allah, Allah tells his messenger Rabbika Wanhar. Pray for your master, pray for the sake of your master and sacrifice. Sacrifice is done usually for a aqiqah, for a celebration. And Allah is saying, what I've given you, you should still celebrate. And don't worry, you're, you're the enemy, the one who's caused you pain in Nashaniyaka, he's the one that's gonna be the most discontinued. Huwal abtar. He's the most discontinued. His name and his legacy shall not continue. Now, this is the historical background of this surah, but the placement of the surah is also remarkable. It's Surah Al-Fil, fulfilling half the prayer of Ibrahim, keep the city peaceful. Surat Quraysh, fulfilling the other half of the prayer of Ibrahim, make the city prosperous. Surat Al-Ma'un, showing that the people who are currently in charge are not capable. They're not rightly qualified to run the house of Allah. They're not qualified as custodians of the Kaaba. And then Surat Al-Kawthar, you are the rightful custodian. You're the one that's been given abundant good. And as a matter of fact, what he's told to do, pray and sacrifice, is actually in summary the entire legacy of Abraham. On the one hand, Rabbi Jalni Muqima Salati, make me the establisher of prayer, that's Ibrahim's prayer. And on the other hand, of course, the entire ritual of sacrifice traces back to Ibrahim. So, in two words, the Prophet is being told, restore the legacy of your father. It's incredible, so beautiful. And then the Prophet's being told, by the way, those who have already been described as not qualified to run this house will become your enemy, but don't worry, their legacy shall not continue. That house will be worshipped. The house, the worship will take place at that house in the way and, and continue to take place in that, in that house in the way that is true to the spirit of Ibrahim. And that is something we continue to enjoy to this day. Barakallahu li walakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.